My name is uh, Amilcar Perez. I would say between 16, 15 and 16 actually, yeah. And uh, it was a time where, when I was actually planning to see what I was gonna do in life pretty much, you know, like, because I was already trying to take courses to see for like college or whatever, right? But it didn't work out that way. <laughs> you know, you just have to keep going with life, right? Because life moves on. <laughs> because I had a problem with like fluid, right? So having fluid in my body, like I could feel like tired, exhausted, and, and I can even breathe sometimes depending on how much fluid I have, right? But you know, if just controlling the amount of fluid, I actually am able to do more, right? With the fluid intake, I had to restrict myself by, by grabbing a smaller cup. The other thing that I do is I, I tend to have ice around like all the time, like as much as I can, I guess, because sometimes like, I don't have ice available. But I sometimes I just chew a couple of cubes of ice or something just to like have the, the, the strong urges of drinking fluid. The other thing that I do is not drink water too frequent. I feel less thirsty if I actually, yeah, if I don't actually eat anything salty, you know, if, I, if, I, if it's just plain, then I don't, I feel like I don't need to drink sometimes, you know. One thing that I have is that actually helped me out with, with uh, being active, I guess, is photography because I do a lot of walking and hiking and all that, right? So that brings me out. Like, the camera is basically what helps me, kind of like, like, kind of like that, that, you know how, because I like photography, that basically kind of like encouraged me to go out and, and bring my tripod and all my gear and everything and go out and, and do things, right? Take photos or, or you know, the, you know, kind of like as a side effect of all of liking photography, I do exercise. Family or your friends, like close friends actually, you know, when they understand what you're going through and then they know that, you know, all the difficulties and hurdles that you have to go through, you know, it actually makes it a lot easier and more more, uh, you know, more, more comfortable to be living, I guess, you know, life, you know. Everybody in my family would be my mother that, that has been like there all the time, right? And being, you know, always trying to make sure that, you know, whatever, you know, doesn't, like, for example, if I eat something that she always reminds me, remember the fluids or remember that you're not supposed to eat that much potassium or whatever, right? The most important meal as a, a like right now it would be like breakfast for me because if i don't have breakfast i don't feel good the whole day now like i feel like i'm lacking energy It doesn't have to be like this elaborated play, you know, it, it can be very simple actually. I cannot skip breakfast. After all these years, I feel like, you know, I kind of, kind of have like a routine kind of, you know, that, you know, you, you like almost like as a second nature, you know, which food to go for all the time, you know, and, in which not to, you know, indulge too much, you know, and, you know, overall, I would say I'm very comfortable with the food, actually. Mm -hmm.